everyone welcome back to another video i hope that all of you are feeling rested this is a video coming to you near the end of my personal summer summer vacation i was very busy this month with my family and unfortunately i missed the july 1st um, live and i do want to apologize for that um, it was on my calendar but honestly my phone was like out of sight out of mind because i was with my family um, but it's no excuse whatsoever so please forgive me and I will be there for August 1st for the live I know that a lot of you are beginning your schooling um, and probably have some questions so feel free to um, to join us for, for that question and answer session and for today's video I wanted to cover all of my grades for year one just so that you can kind of Get a feeling of how many exams there are so please note that as I show you footage and um, note that out of every exam to to pass on to the next block you will need a 60% average of those four so either four or three or on my last block I had two exams so depending on how many exams you just average it so you divide it by the number of exams that you had um, and then if you get a 60% or more then you're good to go in terms of passing to for the next block I think that's very important for you to understand um, but besides that something else that I want y'all to notice is that the grade the grading system is a little bit different so we are um, in the like 0 to 100 um, percent grading scale which means that anything you know like traditional 90 and above is an A however when um, when you do get your grade then that grade is is converted into a number and I'll show you where exactly to find it but it's a number from 0 to 10 and so from what I understand up till now is that um, 10 is it's like A plus and 9 is an A and from my understanding B is like an eight and stuff like that um, but what I want you to know is that when you transfer your grades over so when you when I apply to residency I will get a grading scale out of 10 from my understanding so far um, so that that will be shown in my transcripts so I just wanted to make that clear to you all hope that makes sense it's fairly simple Basically, any grade that you receive on Mis Cursos, which is your school um, platform, like your portal, um, those grades will be transferred over to your toolbox section. And that toolbox section, from my understanding, is what will be um, like the final final grade uh, for, your, for your block and what will be appearing on your transcripts. I hope that makes sense. Anyway. This year was very difficult um, for me in terms of schooling. It was a lot of learning um, of what I, um, how I study. For the incoming student, um, please be patient with yourself. Try out different techniques, maybe like um, per exam, you know, to see how you can uh, how you can improve upon your learning and your studying and your time management. It's very important for your success. And if you're a returning student, um, well, props to you for making it through um, another semester. And um, I hope you've adjusted to like the rigorous material and like. And do know that every semester is a little bit different. Even for myself, I'm a little like worried for my new semester coming in. I'm going to be a second year, um, third semester student, and I know that I will have to adjust a little bit as to how I study. So be mindful of that always trying to improve yourself and I wish you the best I wish all of you the best which is why I'm sharing my, my grades I remember during my first semester I didn't really understand the whole system grading system and not only that but once I got my grades let's say I got like an 80 or a 70 something in an exam then I was like oh no like that's it like I'm done you know so um, I, I kind of want to show you like how I did and my final scores per each block so that I can kind of give you um, a better understanding of 
what is to come. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So let's get started. All right, y'all. So first, I'm going to log in into my um, student portal. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the menu section and click on Mis Cursos. Now I'm on my main um, site. Don't mind the percentages completed because I don't know why it still doesn't say that I completed my blocks, but it's fine. I'm going to block one, which is the fundamentals of medicine. And now I'm going to the calificaciones, aka my grades. And you can see that it, my exams, there were four of them and they were out of 100. You can see on the side what i got and then my overall score it's just pre-quizzes some activities that i had to do and my attendance because they do take role um even though we're online through microsoft teams so yeah feel free to pause so you can just look through it now i'm going to the general grading section and i'm going to look for the fundamentals of medicine group d which was my csd clinical skills development class for CSD, you are divided into different groups, small groups, and um, usually about 40 people. And then you have different quizzes and assignments depending on what you're learning. For your first block, your CSD professor will may or may not give you a, a CSD final. Um, I, I did have one and I also had the CSD portion uh within my partial exams so now we're going to go to block two and like you can see i had four exams for block two and different pre-quizzes assignments and then at the end the total of my course for block two for block two i also had a separate section within mis cursos for my csd so there you can see all of my assignments whether it was like a pre-quiz or um, something that i had to turn in that's where it was at. And then both of those are, are combined to give me my overall score. And then now we're going to block three. Um, I only have one section for block three on mis cursos. Um, this was because my CSD is going to be within my class grades. So here are my exams and then my pre-lecture quizzes, my attendance and different activities that I had to turn in and my overall was a 94. To get a 10, you need a 95. So for that one, I was close <laughs> and I received a nine. I'll show you shortly where you can see the final score. And so now I'm going to show you the neuroscience portion, which was my block four. And for that one, like in block three, everything was together. So you can see my CSD stuff my activities different quizzes that i had and that one i had two exams and then lastly my block five my block five was muscular skeletal system and i also had two exams my csd portion is there and any flipped class assignments were also there and a lot of quizzes <laughs> pre and post lecture quizzes and then now i'm going to show you how, what i meant by that the mis cursos grades were converted into a number section from one to ten so everything i've showed you right now is up to 100 percent and now we're going to the toolbox section within mi campus digital and then i will show you the mis materia section my my courses that I took. For some reason right now, I'm noticing that I only have from third block on, so third, fourth, and fifth, but this is my third block grades. Essentially, everything was transferred over, and it's you, so you can see that my exams, instead of um, like an 88%, I had an 8.8 .8 here, and then at the end, a total was a nine. For my fourth block, the same, I got a nine, everything was converted i'm not sure why right now it has a 2.5 but i don't know i'm just gonna leave it at that and then i'm gonna go to my fifth block which is super cool this is the first time that i received a 10. i've received for all of my 
first year blocks, all of my blocks I've received a nine thus far. And I know that because I saw it here, for, I wanted to show you, but I, I need to contact the, the, <laughs> the school to ask them why it's not there. But I've been getting nines all throughout for my, for blocks one through four. And then for my fifth block, I got a 10. All right, y'all. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for making it to the very end. I hope it was informative and you learned something. Um, I do wish you all the best with this new semester. And I hope that you um, remain patient with yourself and, and that you practice good mental health practices. Um, it's very important for, for your success overall. I wish you all the best and as always, take care. See you in the next one. Bye.